Here we are at the circuit of Barcelona, Catalonia, where today's qualifying session is about to start. And we'll be ready to join the action down at trackside any moment now. Hello everyone and welcome back guys to round three of the F2 2019 Mick Schumacher career mode. Where today we're here for the Spanish Grand Prix. Ready? For the feature race. Now obviously week 3 takes us to Spain. If you missed out on last weekend's action. At the Baku City Circuit. I would highly highly recommend going back. And checking it out. The feature race. Uh, sorry the sprint race even I should say. Was definitely I think the best race so far. That we've had in this season. But coming to Spain though. It's a bit of a weird track for me. One that I don't particularly enjoy. Uh, but the pace generally speaking. Seems okay around here. So we'll have to wait and see. As to how we fare in the Mick Schumacher career mode. Headed into this one though. We are leading the title by just two points. Over Sergio Sete Camera. And obviously we need to try and continue on some good form. I mean Nick de Vries last time out. Dominated the Azerbaijan Grand Prix weekend. He's brought himself pretty much right back into title contention. After scoring nil points. At the first weekend of the season. But like always. We kick this off with one shot quality. Let's really try and get a good lap in here. Qualifying. Uh, back at Bahrain was really good. Uh, back here wasn't quite the same story. Watch, we lacked a little bit of pace. Really no idea what to expect here around the Spanish Grand Prix. So the setup I've rolled with can be quite slidey. Uh, can offer a bit of understeer though as well. We have to use a lot of steering lock to get it to work. So wait and see as to how that fares around this circuit. But I'm feeling optimistic. If we can get it hooked up, I think there's definitely a lot of pace in the car this weekend and hopefully we can try and continue on the good form that we've had so far this season down the hill though I've always what I've got to be conscious of is just trying to get the car slowed down at the right time still I find myself sometimes using the F1 braking points sometimes braking just that bit too early and obviously you've really just got to try and bring everything out of the car that was not the line I wanted into there I should be leaving it into fourth on the entrance but we've made it work that time around we got a bit lucky and we're still surviving as we head down in towards the final sector of the lap. We are still purple. So that's reassuring. Bounce over those curbs. Take a big gamble through there. But it's paid off this time round. Probably won't be doing that all too much in the race. It was a huge, huge slide as we come through the twisty technical final sector of this Spanish Grand Prix circuit. Can we get the power down out of the final corner completely pinned? through that final turn down towards the line where is it going to be it's going to be pole position for the spanish grand prix that was i think that was a 129.8 so i will definitely take that one at the end of the day the there of qualifying. here's a look at your top three schumacher tete camera and nicholas latifi with qualifying complete all that remains is the main event we'll be live and uninterrupted for the feature race tomorrow so make sure you join us then three tenths clear at the top of the standings i will certainly take that one at the end of the day and it was ahead of my main rival sergio sete camera there and i mean four big valuable points in this championship both dams cars just behind us there sete camera and latifi giotto up in fourth and i've heard the guy in fifth is pronounced joe not zoo or zo or supposedly it's joe uh, so hopefully I'm not going to butcher that as much now, although I'm probably still saying it wrong. De Vries, they're not quite getting the session. He would have wanted down in sixth ahead of Hubert. And then obviously Jordan King and Aitken, the two Englishmen, at ninth and tenth. They're ahead of Della Traz, my teammate Galeel, down in eleventh. They're ahead of Matsushita, Bokalachi, Boshung, and then down towards the rear of the field. I take it we've got the usual people. Yeah, Lacey, Mazepin, Correa, Eilat, Reiki Nathan, and Calderon rounds out of the order there. So we are on pole. For the Spanish Grand Prix. You can see now 61 points. We've got 6 over Sete Camera here. And we need to try and get the full 25 in this first race of the weekend there. we got pole back in Bahrain. Can we this time round not make the mistakes on that one? Welcome to the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia. This circuit has seen some exciting racing over the last quarter century. The question is, which of the young drivers below will be the next to write a chapter of that illustrious history? It's 2.89 miles around the circuit to Barcelona, Catalunya. Seven lefts and nine rights that make up a total of 16 corners. 
probably one of the best opportunities for overtaking is down the main straight and into the first turn. That's one of the two DRS zones the drivers will be able to use this weekend. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. There are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remain calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive, and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's results and a look at the starting grid. A fantastic effort from Mick Schumacher yesterday puts him on pole position, with Sergio Sete Camera alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Latifi, Giotto, Juan Ujo, and De Vries, Hubert King. Aitken, Louis Delatraz, Galeo, Ashushita, Dorian Boccalacci, and Boschong, Alessi, Mazepin, Correa, and Callum Island. Rag Hunathan and Tatiana Calderon completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Not too sure that that's quite true, Jeff. I'll be honest, the run down to Turn 1 here in Spain is famously actually very long, but we'll, we'll gloss over that. And we are ready on the grid for the Spanish Grand Prix. 19 laps ahead of us around this circuit. And I think if I can make just a couple of small setup changes. I brought the brake bias back slightly. I'm going to... No, we'll keep the front arrow. Let's, let's not mess with anything. Let's keep it where it was ready for the start of this Grand Prix. Yeah, very, very excited for this one. I have remembered from Baku. We just need to absolutely plant the throttle of the start so hopefully we can actually get off to a decent getaway here we didn't get off to a good place in Bahrain when we started from pole but it's just five lights for the Spanish Grand Prix and it is not long at all far forward is lights out and away we go there and that has not been the best start in the world I mean we kept the throttle completely planted and it still hasn't worked out for us as we head down towards the one that everyone's trying to play defensive from each other Latifi might just have muscled his way up into the lead on this Grand Prix from third on the grid there. We've still got Giotto trying to keep the nose in. He's still there. We give him the squeeze, but we do get the run right around the outside there on the exit of the corner there. Sete Camera is actually going to give us the room down towards turn four, but no, the understeer kicks in and we have to slot in just behind. Oh my. Oh, we've done what we did at back. Oh, we've done what we did at Bahrain. Luckily, not. As badly keep the nose at the inside of Joe. That was horrendous by me, but we'll gloss over that. What is wrong with this car? There is so much wheel spin at the moment. Hubert's trying to have a look around the outside. And, well, we've done exactly what we did at back here. We have had a terrible start to this Grand Prix there. What is wrong with us from starting on the pole? We'll, we'll, we take the four points and then decide to throw away many, many more at the start of Grand Prix at the inside. That's a bit late. But this is Formula 2, and, I mean, we've made it work in the end. Now we need to calm down and close up on Sete Camera again. But Latifi leads the way as we head in towards the final few corners of lap one home. And we stick with the freeze. That's a bunny hop. We'll gloss over that. Good run out in the final corner, though. We're all over the back. Of De Vries. How is the front arrow looking as we head down towards turn one there? I think everyone's running a little less wing than ourselves there. But luckily, Joe is quite a bit back. Oh, De Vries breaks earlier than I was expecting. That was not an attempted overtake. That was evasive. Oh, that's a good run, though, at the first few corners. Could we potentially go for something on De Vries here? We're going to go for it. Full send. Ah. That's, yeah, we're, we're certainly playing it risky at the moment. Sometimes you got it, though. We're going the Stappen 2017 style on this. Around the outside. Give us the room, please. Don't know why I haven't really earned much race in respect so far, but no, the freeze holds on. Can we get a bit of a switch back? No. All this is doing is letting the damnedest cars run away. At the start of this race, though, and we've seen it in the past, it's so, so easy for the AI. If they get a breakaway, just to go. I'm there, DeFreeze, thank you. 
See, Jeff was more of a fan of that one. But, yeah, now we need to just close up on key or two. One lap later, though, and we are all over the back of Giotto as we head through the final sector of the lap here. Are we going to be able to get any sort of run? No, we're not. A bit of a wobble through the final couple of corners there. We have still got the DRS, though, on all of these guys as we now set the fastest lap of the race. So the game just telling me, obviously, that we will be pitting quite soon in this race there. But we need to try and get past Giotto because, I mean, those Dan's cars with the pit stops coming up soon... Um, they're going to have, well, one of them is going to have to take a bit of a sacrifice here. Whether they're going to try and get one of them to do a bit of an undercut, maybe hit the end of lap five, but I'd imagine what's more likely is one of them is going to have to go longer. And I really don't know which one they're going to choose. We need to get good traction out of the final couple of corners here. Really try and actually start hassling Giotto. Short shifting a bit, attacking the curbs. That's been the run we needed, though. We used up all of the track width on the exit. Are we going to be able to get any sort of run down towards T1 there? I'm definitely closer to him than he's the cars in front. He's aware of it though. He's going to play defensive. We're going to go late on the brakes around the outside. No. A bit overconfident. And we'll actually slot in alongside him, but we'll give him the place back. What is he doing? It's cost us both a lot of time there, but I mean, we did cut the chicane to give ourselves a chance, so we won't try to capitalise on that at the moment. But, yeah, Giotto is still playing it defensive at the moment, so we might need to try and just get past him as soon as possible here. Because look at instantly the gap the Dams cars have been able to create in this situation. Let's, let's get him in towards T9, or at least attempt to, if we're close enough still. Slow in, fast out. He hasn't got the DRS. Surely, surely this is going to be a move. Around the outside. Back in trying to break away, but we've made it. Clean around the outside of Luki Giotta. I don't think there was any contact in that one as well. That's what you like to see. And now we'll get to see what is going to happen between the dam scales here as we head through the final couple of corners. Are they going to pick one of them? No. Both stay out. That is very, very interesting in this Grand Prix here. Because, I mean, Seto Camera is currently the man in the title fight. But, let's be fair, we're only, what, this is the fifth race of a 24 race season. So it's certainly far from over. And, yeah, whether Latifi's going to try and bring himself back into the title fight, we will have to wait and see. But, surely, getting the ideal pit stop will be a good start at the moment. As we've made a real hash of the first few corners. Ah, so Sete Camera gets the choice then. As we're going to take an interesting line in to the pit lane. I don't remember, obviously, it's really slow. <gasps> we just got it stopped in time. That was close. Uh, but not looking like many people have come in, though. I think Joe's joined us. Yeah, Joe's joined us as well. Um, could we potentially get a better stop? Then set the camera, it's gonna be optimistic unless he gets held up a bit. Find some other cars. Great. We messed that up. Don't think we lost too much time. I just don't get how you meant to do it. Yeah, we've lost some time to set the camera there. I think actually a fair few cars have pit, but clearly lap six isn't the only lap you need to pit on in this race. Clearly a bit of a window here, but yeah, how much time? We, we were about 1.6 behind Sate Camera coming in. So we've chucked about away about a second in the pit stop window. Oh! Latifi's out! What's happened? to Nicholas Latifi leading the way and it seems well he's slowing down down the front straightway so no idea what's happened to him but that is heartbreak what's that second week in a row now in the feature race that well the race leader is out of the Grand Prix that I cannot believe that poor Nicholas Latifi that is going to be a huge huge loss of points for the Canadian let's have a look where is he he's down towards there he is so 
That looks like just a standard engine failure. Are we going to get jumped by Giotto, though? I mean, it's going to be close now, Force T1. I'm going to slam the door shut around the outside. Yeah, but I'm into P2 now, but poor, poor Nicholas Satifi. It was going to be close, but I think he was still going to be in the lead off this racer, and that's going to give Sete Camera, well, P1 in this Grand Prix, but we need to try and push the close up. We have taken four tenths out of him over the course of the lap there, so the pace isn't too bad at the moment. We just need to keep chipping away and then get into the DRS and really start to make some big gains. But we also need to watch for the tyres. New fastest lap of the race by four tenths of a second here. We've taken a second at a set of camera on that lap alone, and I'll be honest, the muscle memory is starting to get, you know, starting to kick back in again. I'm remembering just the small little things you need to do with this car to really get the most out of it at the moment here and I mean this is what's happening we're taking so much time at set of camera I'm a little bit worried about how the tyres are going to fare towards the end but I think they're doing alright at the moment but yeah set of camera has got nothing against us on raw pace at the moment we've got this track hooked up and sorted at the moment here but set of camera still has the ace in the hole and that is the race lead track position trumps everything else in motorsport and especially around a track like Spain not the easiest place to overtake at when I mean, we have been on a recovery drive from P6 but certainly yeah there's there's definitely back it was a bit easier to overtake at there were a couple more opportunities but now we're in the DRS as we go for a nice lock up um set a camera as long as we keep him honest hopefully can't lose out too much time Oh, Sete Camera locks up. Wasn't expecting that. Through T1 there. That's going to upset his rhythm as we head through the first sect here. Is that going to potentially open up an opportunity? Look at how much we're gaining through there. God, what is that, mate? Come on, you've got to pick a line and stick to it. Through the next couple of corners here. This is the battle for the lead between the two title rivals. Oh, he slams the door again. Sete Camera. There is no love lost at the moment, I'm sure. Well, guessing by the antics at the moment, I can't imagine I'm on his Christmas card list, but this is, well, intense at the moment. Sete Camera is trying to do everything to hold on from a much quicker car behind him as we head up the hill. This has been a golden opportunity so far in this race. We're using up all of the curbing. Is Sete Camera going to play defensive? We're going to have a sniff up the inside. Are we going to be able to go full send? Oh, contact when he slams the door. Send it through the final chicane. Ah, big wobble. Is that going to mean we're going to be close enough as we head onto lap 12 of this race there? The gap's half a second as we head over the start finish line here. Giotto's a good two and a half back. Are we going to be able to close up enough? Nowhere near on set. A camera again. He breaks early though. We've given him a huge punt in towards T1 there. Why was he breaking so early through the first corner? Has that given us any damage? Um, a tiny bit on the left hand side or right hand side even I think but what was that by Sete Camera he's certainly going to try every trick in the book and maybe a couple outside it at the moment we need to get past him though I'm worried if we leave it too late the tyres will die and then he won't even have to defend anymore so we to go all or nothing Kimi style on him I mean we're barely over halfway through this race Spain isn't often the track that produces great racing but it has so far today scary that's a good run that's the run we needed out of the final couple of corners two tenths as we cross the start finish line here set a camera is going to play defensive we're going to try and squeeze him off the racing line as best as possible in towards top there he's going to keep the nose up the inside much later on the brakes why is he so much later that time rams and he was just one lap ago as we head through turn three cheeky switch back perhaps nice and early on the power surely Surely this is going to be the overtake there. Side by side, down in towards turn four. We've got the inside. We're slightly later on the brakes there. We're running a bit deep in towards the corner there. But Sete Camera can't get the traction on the exit. And that's just now up finally, finally back into the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix. We haven't led 
since the start here, and it's been a recovery driver so far, but we're still only two thirds of the way through. That's not where we want it to be. That was not what we needed in this race. Into the wall we go, and that looks like that's basically game over at the moment there. We've lost the front wing. I cannot believe it. Yeah, nothing, on, nothing obviously on the front end. The front wing's completely gone. No! just take anything away from that race anyway in the end, but yeah, that was certainly a weird crash. Nothing else fell off the car. I guess it was just a high enough impact that the game deemed that was going to be it for our Spanish Grand Prix. Uh, for the for the feature race anyway. Uh, yeah, you just see coming into the pit lane. Uh, yeah, just, just way too late on the turn in. Um, obviously with no downforce on the front end it was never going to go any better there and just understeered. I could have probably attempted to bail out and go back onto the track. You see, once I've locked up, though, there is nothing we can do. An embarrassing mistake. But, yeah, I mean, we weren't going to be able to take home any points from this race anyway. We we're going to have to dive it in. And we were going to be last there. Maybe, maybe we could have got past Calderon and Raikkonen again. But I cannot believe it. Our first retirement of the series. I honestly thought this series could be... One of the first ones we do, where we actually make it to the end of every single Grand Prix, but or every single race, even I should say. But it's a DNF in the Spanish GP uh, feature race from pole position. We've we've wrecked our Spanish GP weekend. So another fantastic victory for Dams today. And Davide Valseca, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I think this race was won thanks to the tire management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires, that's where they won today. And I can see our drivers making their way out now. It's been a sublime team performance and it's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Dams are your winners today. And now, let's take a look at the driver's stand. Sergio Sete Camera takes the lead of the driver's championship. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? Lots of drivers impressed me today, Alex. But if I have to say one that impressed me most, it's Nobuaro Matsushita. On to the teams then. Dams move further ahead at the top of the standings. There was also a strong showing from the MP Motorsport team today as they make their way up the standings. Goodbye for now then. But we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. It was a gutting way to end our Spanish Grand Prix. And like I said, unfortunately, that means the sprint race is certainly going to be optimistic to think we can try and take home any points there. But yeah, that was pretty gutting in the end. Sete Camera takes the win ahead of Giotto and Nick De Vries there. He picks up the fastest lap as well. No idea how the AI found so much pace. Towards the end there. Jordan King in fourth. Matsushita had a Joe. Hubert. Della Traz Aiken. And my teammate Sean Galeo actually picks up a point. Thanks to both myself and uh, Latifi's issues in the Grand Prix there. Boccalacci. Bosheng. Mazepin. Correa. Alesi. Raginathan. Calderon. Ilot rounds out the finishers there. With, yeah, myself and Latifi both not making it through to the end of the race there. Still somehow P2 in the Drivers' Championship there. But I mean Nick De Vries after a horrendous opening weekend, is already right on the back of us there. Sete Camera's picked up a 19-point lead. That's probably only going to get bigger after the sprint race tomorrow as well. So, unless by some miracle we can take home any points, I think 
Defreeze is probably going to get us. Giotto might get us as well. But, yeah, that was really not a day to remember in the end. But, yeah, my teammate Sean Galeolo does move up into P12 of the standings. I mean, there's a nine-point gap. It really is just sort of 11 cars that are scoring points in this series here ahead of Bolshung there with Bokalachi, Alesi, Mazepin, Ilok, Correa, Raginathan and Calderon all yet to score. But we need to be optimistic tomorrow. We need to look ahead and focus on the second race of the weekend. Uh, Virtuosi have jumped us up into P2 there with ART and Carlin. That is quite a fight for P2 in the Constructors standings there with MP Motorsport jumping Arden as well. Though. I mean, Dams have just bolted off the start of this championship there. They seem to be the only team with it, two real top-class drivers this season. So it looks like that might be very much their title for the taking. But yeah, we need to focus really now. Just just try to survive the rest of this Spanish Grand Prix weekend. See if we can get anything in a tomorrow's sprint race. And hopefully, I'm, I'm looking forward to Monaco next week. That should be a good race for ourselves. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching nonetheless. Like I said, gutted that we did finish the race in that way. But you guys know me. We, you know, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake and we've got to work on and move on from it nonetheless. But yeah, hopefully I will see you guys back here tomorrow ready for the Spanish Grand Prix Sprint Race.